Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're playing Orgul in Project 1999. We're going to go from level 24 to 29, and I ended up coming straight to Warsalisk, I believe that's how you say it, um, Woods, and doing the Giants at the Giant Fort. I was able to get in a group pretty easily with Dietrix and also Vumple, who we ended up just fear kiting mobs. I think we did two or three at a time, and I was doing certain dots, and um, Dietrix was doing uh, another set of dots, and then Vumple was doing their dots, and we were doing this on all of the mobs at the same time. So we we were able to uh, continually do two or about two or three, and then we'd rest a little bit, and then do two or three more. It went for a while, so we were we were here for a few hours, and we didn't see any uh, forest loops drop, but we were able to at least get money from weapon drops, things like that. And it, it was worth it. We um, we ended up getting through levels pretty darn fast. So I'm, I'm very happy about this area. Probably would have stayed a little bit longer just so that I could try to get a forest loop. Went ahead and came to um, Mistmore, <laughs> the zone that we all love. And probably stayed here a whole lot longer than I wanted to. I think I stayed here till level 26 or so. Was a really good group made... Pretty good money off of the gargoyle eyes. Could have probably stayed here and just gone all the way to 30. But I don't like the zone. So I was happy to get out of it whenever I did. We had a good amount of DPS. I believe we had um, a enchanter, a wizard, and, a, and myself as far as DPS goes. We had, I, I think he was a cleric or he was a shaman. And, uh, of course, our warrior and monk. So, we were pretty well-rounded. I think, um, I think I'm think i not going to come back here if I can keep from it. Uh, a side note, um, the healer is in a guild called Random Axe. And on live, I was actually in that guild. I was in Random Axe of Kindness. And it happens that... One of the guild leaders who came in after I left the game is the one who ended up moving that guild over to this server. So I've, I've talked to them a few times. El Camino, I think, is the actual guild leader. And um, it's kind of nice that they're on the server. I don't know if they do what we used to do, which was go to newbie areas and, and help newbies out. But that's definitely one of the things I liked about that guild. And, and just glad to see that it's here. So like I said. I stayed here until around level 26. Was able to get close to level 27. And then I headed out. And went to Ocean of Tears. Where I ended up killing the sisters. Which are two mobs that... Um, are around level 25-ish, 20, 25 or 26 or so, but I was able to kill these all the way up until close to level 29, and then I got a little bit of help at 29. That um, so it was um, it was uh, kind of nice. We I got probably about a thousand plot here uh, every couple days. And that's just because I didn't play very often. And whenever I did, I was grouped with another person. So we were splitting money. And if they weren't here, I wouldn't have been able to make the amount of money that I did. Because I can't sell to any merchants in this zone. So we were able to uh, kill these. Each They drop a sword every time. That sword is 11 plat. And they also drop a purity belt. But that's pretty much it. That's what I did for... Um, level 29 or 24 to level 29 and I'm probably going to start shortening um, that length between I make between the time I make videos maybe every level or every two levels just because it is getting to a point where it's going to take forever to get to another level because I'm about to hit a hell level so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great evening a great day and a great morning this is Cypherdeck Peace out.